save these for the trail. Need them soon enough.
<laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked out. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. In the village, too. What's it for? How are we to trust the chieftain after so many died under his command? You died on the this drum. This song. This was like a broken one. Most of the villages were oh, towards my snow. Ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. 
But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave. All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a wearing chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shop. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Aurea or Thunderstrong. Might be worth a shot. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. 
That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. There are other Warax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite. Quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it, then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. So, machines in the South suffer their own sort of corruption. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood? Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Welcome, stranger. May the cut be kind to you. I mourn the machines who have been enslaved by the demon. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this demon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. And to do that, I need to talk to Outland. the Outland, wait, wait a moment. Over north. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. 
Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. from the hunt. The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Then we wait. But I better. I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. Bergen said Aurea's apprentice went north of the river. Don't go not too far. Atomic? What did it take to knock one of those over? What about the last? Frankie's device. The scavengers have just gotten started. <laughs>
Maybe my focus will see something. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get a look inside its head.
Thank <laughs> you.